Um, I'm hoping to do DFT and then that's going to be in Newcastle or base up north basically. <laughs> I'm hoping to do combined DFT so hopefully I'll be staying around the Leeds area for see how we've done on the SJT uh, and it's just going to hopefully be normal uh, trick. So next year I'm hoping to go to Newcastle and I'm hoping to do the longitude and also combine DFT. Uh, hopefully back home Newcastle, just normal DFT for now, but just pray I get in. Really hopeful to go back north. I'm hoping to go to London for my DFT. Uh, I'm hoping to stay in West Yorkshire next year and just the DFT. Um, I don't really have any plans to go anywhere at the moment. I'll just go wherever I'm lucky enough to enter. Um, and I'm going to be doing the DFT movie. I want to do DFT and I'm hoping to do it in Lancashire because that's where I'm from. But hopefully wherever it goes, what are you most looking forward to? Um, probably gaining a bit more experience. I think, especially with COVID, we haven't really done as many things as we'd like to have done. So it'd be nice next year to so gain some more experience. Um, looking forward to being in the practice environment, work with my nurse and also in the team in the and having a bit of independence. Um, I'm looking forward to just start working to be able to improve my clinical experience and then gain more of that education experience. I feel like dental school is like a bubble of, and I'm ready to pop that bubble and go into the real <laughs> Um I'm most looking forward to exploring a new area and um, just sort of getting into the working life and meeting lots of new people. So I'm looking forward to not having to always call the tutor over and be wasting time. Um, and yeah, getting paid for my first time in five years. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being my own dentist. I'm looking forward to honing my own skills, getting some more practice for myself. Yeah, just getting out there. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting a new group of people, like working at a different pace and just being my own independent practitioner uh, and seeing as many patients as I can. I feel like in the dental hospital, you're only seeing two maximum four a day and you feel so productive so I'm kind of excited to be seeing like 10, 20, hopefully even more and seeing a lot more variety of patients and things like that. Um, change of pace I think, just yeah, being in a different environment from university, getting to do and learn more things. What are you most anxious about? I'm probably also anxious about moving to a new area because it will be um, lots of new things to experience and just sort of adapting to working life with all the different changes and sort of not having that support sort of necessary like friends being directly like nearby and um, so it would be quite a big change but an exciting change at the same time. Um, I'm anxious about not having somewhere or someone there to hold my hand throughout any treatments and just being a bit more independent and having to make my own decisions. Just not having the tutor there constantly with you but also that would be quite nice because you'll get a bit more independence and building confidence. Um, just sort of going into somewhere I don't really know. You don't know what your ES is going to be like, for example, but hopefully it'll all work out okay. I'm just about not having my tutors and like peer support with me constantly because you make friends and you are able to become friends with your tutors as well. And it's just that sense of like support that I'm going to miss out on. So hopefully we have good ES. <laughs> um, I'm also a bit anxious about um, not having the tutor there and also not having my colleagues and friends around me. I want to ask you something. The same answer for the previous one. I'm yeah. a little bit scared to not have someone to lean on all the time, but hopefully we'll get there. Um, I'm anxious about, again, having a decent pace, like seeing a lot more things in the same day, and being independent. I think I'm really good at that. I think also the increased workload, uh, obviously from going from maximum four patients on a busy day to suddenly seeing 30 and then doing everything as independently as we can. But I'm kind of excited to also have that confidence, but also scared to increase that skill. Um, what's the best piece of advice you would give to a fourth year? Oh, work hard. Work hard, but enjoy it. Like, don't think of clinics as a burden and be like, oh, I've got to go to clinic and do this. Take every single opportunity you can. If you get an older year saying, oh, can you help me out? Or if you have a friend saying, can you do this with me? Just take every single opportunity you can in dental school because it's the only time you're allowed to make mistakes. And to be honest, no one can tell you off. Like, yeah, you've made a mistake, you've done something wrong, but someone can help you. So take every opportunity, see as many patients as you can, and just have enjoy with your friends because to be honest we're thinking about it now we're going to leave and we're never really going to see our friends every single day anymore so enjoy all your time with your friends relax but work hard
Um, I think it's really important to enjoy your final year um, because it will go really quickly, but also try and make sure you're on top of things and making sure you're actually going to like reach your totals and see enough patients that you can actually graduate. Take each day as it comes. There's so many exams, so many assignments, but make sure that you enjoy yourself as well as working hard because it's your last year. <laughs> um, start working now. <laughs> Revise now. Anything you don't understand, ask questions. Ask why. Constantly throughout your whole technical experience, keep asking why. So if a tutor tells you to do this, ask them why, why you should be able to do it. And ask them for the relevant guidelines or the relevant teaching or the relevant research that they're telling you to follow as well. Be really organised and don't bank on like one excuse working out for something, like have lots of options and have a few patients and see them through properly rather than just trying to pick up random pieces. I think just really push yourself to the limit. So when I was on clinic, I was booking in two patients for every single session. I really pushed myself to see the maximum that I can do and get the most experience that I could while I'm here. So I really would recommend doing that. Um, just make the most of your time at uni. Uh, enjoy uni as much as you can. And yeah, just don't stress about things too much. It's a hard slog, so take each day as it goes. Be kind to yourself, rest a lot, enjoy time with your friends because it's your last year at uni. Um, but all the hard work will be. The best piece of advice that you could give to a fourth year? Um, I'd say definitely enjoy it, um, your final year. Um, work really hard and just know that and don't give up because you've come this far, so just keep persevering right until the end, it'll be worth it.